going on guys my name is Shane and today I have something I'm, I'm nervous about today and I really shouldn't be because it's really not that big of a deal um, but probably a couple weeks ago I had posted a vlog I think it was vlog 515 I first mentioned that I had gone to a wig shop and purchased a wig so I talked to the stylist who was there she was so sweet so helpful so informative I ended up getting a synthetic wig instead of a human hair wig because I had the intention of building like a wig closet especially with doing YouTube and stuff it'd be fun to like change up my looks for different kinds of videos so I'm gonna pull down my natural hair I have no extensions whatsoever in my hair at the moment and I have been trying to grow my hair since fifth grade so I used to have hair down to my butt when I was a little girl and then I decided to experiment and I cut my hair um, probably up to my shoulders so like from the my butt up to my shoulders I cut my hair and I liked it at first but then I really started to miss my hair so when I got into high school so that was in middle school I pretty much went all throughout middle school with short hair but you can see my natural hair is so the problem is the volume is not at the top of my hair. It gets poofy at the sides and that's why I back home so much. So, you know, when high school came around, I, I really wasn't using like any heat on my hair in middle school. So when I learned to start styling my hair and you know, you're so pressured with high school. Um, I started styling and wearing extensions. My first extensions came from Sally's Beauty Supply. And I wore those forever until I learned about Bessemi's extensions. And ever since I used Bessemi's, I just never went back to Sally's. The thing is, it's so expensive and my hair is still not growing. You know, I had been growing it and growing it and growing it and it probably got about this long. So it's a little tiny bit past my breast, <laughs> a little bit longer than that at this point. And it's always had gotten to about this length. And then I would get so frustrated that it wasn't growing and I would chop it off again. So last time I cut my hair was in 2014 when my daughter was born. I chopped it off a couple weeks after my wedding and I did like a super, super short bob. I'll, I think I even have a video showing it so I'll throw a clip in real quick. Fair on my notes, ooh. So yeah, my hair was super short and I did not like it. I actually thought it was really cute, it was really simple. Um, the only thing is though, all I could do was straighten it. So I got really bored of it really quickly and I wanted long hair back. So ever since, you know, that was almost five years ago now and my hair has only grown pretty much from my chin to a little bit past my breast, which isn't that bad, but I really just want to leave my hair alone. My other concern was that because I back comb so much, especially this hair around the crown of my head was becoming like a dread. Um, it's still a little bit there. I still gotta like work some of the knots out. It's just gonna take some time and a lot of coconut oil. I'm also afraid that I was gonna just start forming a dread. So I had come to a crossroad where it is either time to buy a new set of extensions or try a wig. I'm nervous to try a wig, you know? It's a new territory. I'm afraid that I'm gonna find it uncomfortable. I'm afraid that I'm not gonna like the style. And like, I went and I picked it out and I tried it on and I picked the color and all that stuff. I just haven't like been able to take it home and to really, really look at it and give it a test run. And that's what I'm doing today. And I'm so scared that I spent a lot of money on something that I'm not gonna like and there's nothing that I can do about it. Now granted, I didn't spend like, it's not like a thousand dollar wig, but it's still like a couple hundred dollars. You know what I mean? It's like about $300. So it's like, if that money just goes out the window and I still gotta buy new extensions, like I'm gonna be pretty upset. I'm planning on getting keratin treatments. I've been talking to so many people and they're like, keratin treatment have helped my hair grow so much. This hair, what the heck are you doing? I'm gonna fix that. Um, they're like, keratin treatment has helped my hair grow so much. So I think I'm just gonna do like a regular at home treatment at least once a week on my hair, but then really look into these keratin treatments because I want my hair I don't wanna wear extensions anymore. I want my natural hair. I wanna be able to style my natural hair and I want it long. My hair is so incredibly 
thick. Like it almost grows outwards instead of lengthwise. <laughs> lengthwise, because my hair gets so pussy but doesn't like to grow in length. So that is what I'm doing today. So I don't really know what she wanted me to do to prep my hair. She didn't really tell me to do anything, so I don't think I have to worry about my natural hair. I took a shower yesterday just because I knew the wig was coming today. I wanted fresh hair. So that way when I put the wig on, like I wasn't putting it over product or anything. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I have a ha about a half hour before I leave. So once I get the wig, I'm gonna go talk to her. We're gonna try it on and all that fun stuff. I'm so nervous. Like I am so nervous. I don't know why I, I like shouldn't be this nervous. But I am, and you know what, if I don't end up liking it or like don't wanna use it as like an everyday thing, it can definitely be used for different videos or if I wanna change up my style. And then I have my extensions still, so if I really don't like it and just wanna put back in my extensions, then you know, it was a loss, but it was also a learning curve. So I'm nervous, but I'll see you guys in a little bit when we have some new hair. By the way, I know this is really random and has nothing to do with the wig, but I'm just looking at my highlight in the camera and I'm like, oh my gosh, it kind of looks a little crazy. Um, but I achieved this not even with highlighter. I'm excited. I'm going to do like a spring or summer updated routine pretty soon. I'm just currently looking for like a new foundation because the one that I'm using is matte and I like to use dewy foundations in the summertime. So I'm just looking for that, but this glow literally is like $6 for a gigantic bottle. Oh, okay, coming soon. Okay, I love you. <laughs> we are here. I'm just pulling up to the salon now. Oh, I don't know why. I'm still nervous, definitely, but I am really excited because at least I get to go home with it today, which is really awesome. Let me find a parking spot here. Yeah, and it's a rainy day, so it's a good day to not do anything with my hair. Whoops, parked a little crooked here. I don't know why I've been having a hard time parking this SUV, this Pilot. Ever since I got it, I like can't back it in straight. There we go, that's good enough. It's the next day. Um, I went to the salon yesterday. I had her help me put the wig on and everything. So I have the wig. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put it on my own head. Um, no, I. this is not like an informative how to wear a wig, tips, tricks, all that fun stuff. If anything, I'm also learning with you guys. So I'm just here today to show you the wig, show you what it looks like on um, and all that fun stuff. So she did recommend to me when I was wearing the wig to have my hair about, I think she said 80 to 85% dry. And now I did kind of completely forget about her tip on the wet hair at first because I took a shower this morning, but I didn't like clean my hair or anything. But when I was doing my makeup and I remembered the whole like have your hair about 80% dry, I took just a water bottle that's behind you guys and sprayed my hair down. Now that was a little bit ago, so my hair is like 95% dry now, but it I think it'll still work. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So this is no extensions, no nothing in my hair. She was even able to get like the knots that I had up here at the crown of my head from all the teasing that I do. And let me tell you guys, I have not been able to do this in probably 10 years, because that's how long I've been wearing extensions for. I have not been able to do that because of all the teasing. Oh my gosh, you don't even know how good this feels. <laughs> so when I'm putting on my wig, the first thing that I do is just kind of get all the knots out of my natural hair. I also did already put a little bit of coconut oil in it. I'm gonna be going to Sephora. She recommended me, she left it in the box. So she told me to go to Sephora and find these two hair products and they're like hair repair. So she said to do the Olaplex number three treatment once a week and then there's an Olaplex number six, which is a leave-in treatment so i don't have either of those today but i will be adding those to my hair care but for now i wash my hair every four days um i don't get naturally oily hair like my hair stays pretty good for quite a while um unless there's like a ton of buildup 
or like I was sweating a lot that day, I won't wash my hair for like four days in between. So this is um, probably, I think this is the second day since it's been washed. I didn't wash it today, but I washed it not yesterday actually. So this will be the third day of not hair washing. So I'll have to wash it in the next couple of days, but we're good for now. So all I do is after I have the whatever product I'm leaving in my hair, whether it was a leave-in treatment, a little bit of coconut oil. I like putting a little bit of coconut oil just on the ends of my hair. Then I am just going to pull my hair back. And the thing is, I used to always have my hair parted on this side, but the wigs part is on this side. So I part my hair on the side that the wig is on. And then I still want to maintain like I don't want to just like pull all my hair back because then my hair is going to get used to if I do this every day my hair is going to get used to being pulled back like this so I like to part it where I would if I was going to wear my hair naturally how I would wear it hi arrow so I'm going to just brush it out and even the back here wherever your hair would naturally fall so like this back near this near the middle of my head this hair usually goes back because that's the hair that usually gets volume so i'm gonna just brush that back and i'm gonna pull my hair back i'm gonna make my natural hair as flat to my head as possible and obviously if your hair was a little bit more wet it would sit flatter <clears throat> so i just made a ponytail at the very at the nape of my neck i'm taking a good elastic and I'm gonna start pulling it through but I'm kind of creating a bun so I'm not gonna pull that last ponytail all the way through and she has showed me to do this because this hair is gonna act as your anchor for the wig so this is the box I just showed you guys so my wig is from Noriko I think I think that's how you say the name but that is the company again it's a synthetic wig so here is the wig Sorry, she's a little all over the place. So she's really layered. She's pretty long. Not as long as like I really initially wanted, but I really just kind of had to work with what I had. Um, it is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful wig, however. This style's name um, is Angelica. So it has like the long fringe bangs and everything. Pretty much my hair color. I found wearing this wig yesterday, my hair color is a little more on like the gray brown side, which this is more like a red brown. This one also doesn't come with any clips. And I will show you guys how I make it secure on my head. My extensions have clips, so I always felt like they were secure. With this, I don't feel like it's secure <laughs> enough for me. So I do bobby pin it, which probably isn't the best for your wig health. Now, because this isn't, this isn't synthetic, I can't use any heat on it. If I need to restyle it, I need to use um, a steamer which is fine because I really don't plan on styling it too much. And then it ha it does have little like adjust a little straps to adjust as well. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and get it on. So if I'm getting it on myself, I just, again, flip it over. So the here is the tag in the back. So I know that this is the front. So I just put it on my forehead. I'm still trying to work with my phone here and it's not. Anyways, <laughs> I just put it on my head and then I hold it there with one hand and then with the other hand, I kind of pull it back. And then this bun, I'm just going to tuck it into the wig. So I don't even go through the hassle of wearing a wig cap. So once you have it on, you know, you wanna kind of bring it back a little bit. Before I start styling her, there's these two like pins almost on either side of the cap just trying to find it you just want to make sure they're like symmetrical on either end there's like two pins in there so once it is on then i'm gonna start kind of putting the hair in place this wig in particular has like manufactured volume and stuff and you can see that in the back and that's what i wanted i didn't want like a super flat wig because i wanted to basically give my natural hair just a break from heat from styling, from teasing, from just everything. I just wanted to give my hair every reason to just not be touched. <laughs> and that is exactly why I got this wig in the first place. So it literally almost looks 
like my natural hair, which is kind of crazy. Even the length isn't even that much longer. And that's why I had initially said like I would have gone longer if the option was there. But for the style, this was the length that it came in. And I think it's a, it's a, it's a good length. So once I'm pretty happy with the way that she's sitting on my head, and this is how I go out. Like I'll carry a brush around with me but I don't really style it. Like I just leave it pretty natural like this. But all I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna use a bobby pin, is take the very, very front pieces of my hairline. So like right there, that's obviously my real hair. You can see scalp there. But because it's not 100% a perfect match between my natural hair and the wig color, I'm not gonna pull out a ton of hair but I just wanna pull out the hairline because it just helps even make it look even more natural. You know what I mean? It already looks great, but this is just gonna let you see the scalp. And I found when you're doing this, you don't want like your part to really show. So I'm just pulling out these little baby hairs. I also make sure that the wig is behind my ear. I always find it really uncomfortable if it's like over on top of my ear. So I'm pulling out. Just a thin layer of hair on this side. So once I have it exactly where I want it, and I do not want this to move, like this feels pretty good. Like I feel like I could snatch my weave. <laughs> like it wouldn't be going anywhere. But just to add that extra security, and I am not suggesting this because I don't want someone to do this and say, oh, it ruined my, uh, the cap inside it ruined the lace like I don't want any of that don't come after me but just my own personal preference up here the cap is pretty um, what's the word like knitted like it, it's there's really no space in the cap up here but down here like around uh, basically my hairline a little bit and toward the nape of my neck it has bigger holes where the cap is. So what I like to do is take little bobby pins and I kind of just go under the hair and I'll go right through the cap and try to secure the bobby pins through the cap into my natural hair. And I, I kind of use my bobby pins, like I'll take it, I lift up some hair and I'll kind of poke until I can feel that it's touching my actual scalp and then I'll go in there and just twist the hair around the pin and stick it in until it feels uh, secure. Again, you don't have to do this part. Like this was not told to me. I'm sure this isn't recommended because I feel like after a while it might mess up my cap a little bit if I'm not like careful enough or if I don't um, you know, really take my time doing this. But it just gives me kind of that sense of security. Like it just feels a little bit better on my head. Um, you know, obviously the, the options for those straps are there, which they're tightened and they feel good on my head. But this is just gonna add a little tiny bit. And I really, again, just go, I'm just going around pretty much the nape of my neck, close to where that um, bun was. So I can feel like security here. Now, would I wear this out if I was going to like, an amusement park where I knew I was going on rides. No, you know, in that case, I would just style my natural hair for the day. But I think styling my natural hair once a year versus 365 days of the year is a lot better. So I don't know, I feel like it looks really natural yesterday. Yesterday was the first day I wore it out and I was so incredibly paranoid. I'm like, everyone knows that I'm wearing a wig. Everyone knows. I was 100% convinced that everyone was staring at my hairline. Like it just took a lot of confidence and a lot of just persuading myself that they didn't know. And even if they knew, whatever, nobody said anything. My biggest test yesterday, when I came home, I worked you know, all day I was at work driving around doing deliveries and then I came home at night. I came home probably 7.30, just in time for my daughter's nap. And uh, I walked in and I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about my hair because it looks so much like my natural hair. I just wanted to know if he would say, cause the thing about my husband, I love him in pieces, but he's so extremely honest with me. So if something doesn't look right or something looks a little weird, like he doesn't want me walking out of the house that well 
like looking that way because he knows like how that affects me you know I get like really embarrassed and really upset about those things so he'll tell me and he didn't say anything so then I told him I said the fact that you're not I said the fact look just completely random I said the fact that you think that this is my natural hair makes me think that it works he goes no like he looked at my hair he didn't know what he was I was talking about he knew about the wig but it's been the appointment kept getting pushed off so he didn't like know what day I was going and he's like no way and I took it off and showed him he's like oh my gosh he's like that looks amazing he's like it looks so good so and this took two seconds this took two stinking seconds I was so excited and that was another part of the thing is I'm a busy mom and I work full-time and I have a home to maintain and my daughter is going to be going to school like I don't want to be spending all this time in the morning getting ready anymore makeup is my passion I love doing my makeup it's kind of like a therapeutic thing to sit down in the morning with some hot chocolate and my favorite show and just to do some makeup or even record makeup tutorials I love doing that but my hair as much as I love the result of spending a lot of time on hair and spending all this time building body and volume the amount of time that it takes to do so it takes away from my family time and I don't want vanity to do that so I'm super super happy with this wig I'm not gonna lie like this is definitely gonna become like my daily thing now again I got a synthetic wig because they're a little bit cheaper than human hair wigs and I wanted to possibly change up my look I wanted to possibly get a blonde wig and you know like some brow pomade because I could fill in my brows a little bit lighter with brow, uh, blonde wigs or like a fashion color wig I don't know a short bob if I wanted to so there were so many different options so that's why I kind of went with the cheaper ones so then I was able to build like a larger um, more diverse collection than just spending a ton of money on one wig. Now, I still am considering buying one from Freedom Couture. That's gonna take me quite a while to save up for it, but they have these beautiful, just long, luscious wigs. But for an affordable price for, you know, anybody, I really think that this is a beautiful, beautiful option. So. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This is such a fun experience. I never thought that I would ever be wearing wigs, but here I am, like, actually really loving it. I'm trying to show you as much as I can. There is no, like, like, I can't part this one anywhere. Um, it does have to, you know, either come to the side or I could, you know, pin it back or something. I can put it up in a ponytail, um, braid it, whatever I really want to do with it that doesn't include heat I can do with it and if I did again it, let's say I want to straighten it or if I want it to be more curly or whatever um, I do have the option of uh, heating it up with a um, hand steamer and if I ever do that I'll make sure I show a video because I might mess up <laughs> anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed please go ahead leave a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments on um, today's video please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram find the thumbnail for this video and you can leave your comments or questions there thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye